Greetings from the new and renewing Congregations Committee of the Synod. It is my pleasure and honor to be the chairperson of this committee, working with the fine folks you see on the screen next to me, to discuss matters of congregational renewal and how we might find new possibilities for gospel ministry throughout our synod. And it's lovely work and something we've enjoyed talking about and made all the more vital because of this pandemic time that we've all been in, uh, when we've had to learn all kinds of new things in all of our ministry contexts. One of the major projects of our committee is to develop plans for the Synod-wide mission trip. We did our first one of those a couple of years ago down to Mount Vernon and had over 50 people join us for that Labor Day weekend. And we look forward to our next one. Now that will be in 2022, not this year, but it will be next year. We are going to give plenty of time for the fine folks at Trinity Lutheran Church in Olney to work with their community partners to develop some opportunities for us to serve and help in their community. I'm going to be there looking really, really forward to that. And I invite you to come on down there with me and the rest of the New and Renewing Congregations crew. We're going to have a great time down there again on this trip. Uh, learning about all different things in their community and celebrating the ministry that is occurring through Trinity Lutheran Church in Olney. So I invite you to that. And don't miss it. One other thing that our committee has been working with is the new Faithful Innovation Project that's rolling out around the Synod. Here is a video with more about that. In January 2020, a group of four lay and ordained representatives from the Central Southern Illinois Synod traveled all the way to Arizona to participate in the Faithful Innovation Training. We brought back the things that we learned to several congregations in our synod. Let's see what some of the members of those congregations learned and what this process has meant for their congregations. Well, I think Faithful Innovations is, is a way for uh, us to get to know our neighbors outside of our church, as well as, as uh, picking the minds and and trying to find out uh, with the people you went to church with for years, what's really uh, uh, given you passion for this church? What what is the times you know the question? What are the times you felt most connected? Uh, and that's so cool because when we asked that, and I heard other stories, at least in our own church, that time when people felt most connected is when they were serving their neighbors. For me, it's really more, um, and of course it's still evolving as I go through the training because I pick up something new all the time. But I, I think it's really about um, bringing awareness to it, um, actually looking, actively looking for where God is active in our lives, in both our lives, our community and our world. And it has been, I actually kind of make it like a little game for myself to kind of, um, how do, where do I see God working? And it is absolutely like almost, it gives you chills sometimes to see where it's like, hey, wait a minute, that is absolutely God working in, in your life. We just don't put that label on it. And I really think Faithful Innovations is um, innovating faith in the community, uh, in your family lives, in, in the world. And, and so identifying uh, or innovating um, the faith where it's not typically taking place. So it would be in a church. Um, you take that outside of the church and you can see, um, see where God is and then help innovate it in that particular section or um, enhance it, help it grow where it exists. I found that it was important for us to be able to make the others feel comfortable. Um, so whether it was right or wrong, starting with something like, you know, I'm really uncomfortable when I have to share my story too. And I always thought that it had to be this big bang moment where, um, oh my gosh, God is talking to me right now. But instead I feel like we learn that it's through our everyday motions that God is um, speaking to us and um, creating our stories and our lives. And so um, having other people be comfortable in that moment, I think that they were more open to share. I think reaching out more to our neighbors. Uh, I think um, churchgoers, I think we got a bad rap. I think uh, people think, uh, 
you go to church because you know you're you're godly and that's just absolutely positively not what church is is about uh and i think we need to uh let people know that you know we're them they're the same as us uh and how do we do that we have to go out and we have to meet people and we have to talk with people we have to break bread with people so that's kind of where i feel this is this is uh heading towards Thank you very much for your support of Faithful Innovation and all the work of the New and Renewing Congregations Committee. And we pray for renewal and rejuvenation in your context as well. Peace be with you.